so this is this slide was from a um workshop that we did and um, i always think it's useful to bring these things back in so if conscious collaboration is contributing what you have to offer without ego professional or expert identity uh, working together for the common good in a high trust manner without expectation desire to control the process or outcomes and we've been talking about this a lot this week um, and then operating as recognized equals in order to solve global climate change challenges and create sustainable global life process for humanity. These that's a lot of words and really um, what came forth as I was looking at this was um, John's mentioned the Thai cave rescue series and I know maybe many of you have not seen it. Um, it's about a um, a real story of 12 um, soccer player young kids that got uh, trapped in a cave and uh, a storm came and they got flooded in and 10,000 people came together through this massive collaborative effort that was defies any expectations to get these children out alive. And um, the crux of the story and and it's a it's a wonderful thing to watch if you get to because it's it's just it, it builds a lot of faith back into humanity and what we can do when we work together and we do it for common good. Um, but the crux of the story is that everyone in the process showed up with what they had and offered it. And they the chances of these kids surviving at various times in the process and things continue to shift and change and get worse and all these things happen along the way. And they still gave, um, knowing these. it was likely these children might not make it. And people gave up their farms, letting them be flooded, and which is their entire livelihood and their crops. People, you know, sent, drove eight hours to bring some piping to so that water could be moved out. Divers came in from all over the world with special um, expertise on cave diving to strategize on any way to get out. They had an anesthesiologist come in that was the only cave diving anesthesiologist to try to get these, these kids out by putting them under anesthesia and risking his license. And, you know, the governor himself was told he'd never work again, you know, just by putting himself at risk to like have his voice be so loud in the world to get Navy SEALs there and his own government and national um, uh, SEALs involved. And I mean, it was it was a tremendous effort. And really just the basis of it is they just all put themselves aside. They just decided it was that important. And um, there was a lot of, um, you know, spiritual support and prayer and I mean, you know, people just feeding people and that's all it is. That's all conscious collaboration is, is as much as we spend every week learning to go deeper into ourselves and, you know, um, work with ourselves energetically and do all these things like the real work that any single human is equipped to do today, not through 100 weeks of WSS training, like they can show up today and they can just show up and say, I want to help. And here's I have you know, this to put in the soup pot and they're consciously collaborating.